Did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dip the chip. Hey everyone, welcome back to Double Dippin' and Sippin'. We got some Kettle Brand chips that we're gonna go through this week, a whole series. It's gonna mm -hmm. be good, I think. I think we got uh, habanero lime, truffle, and bourbon barbecue. Okay. I think it's gonna be good. We are gonna start with habanero lime. Pretty hot, maybe? Yeah. Limey? Yeah. I'm hoping it's more limey, if that's a word. Limey? Than hot. <laughs> but, you know, I'm a team player, I'm gonna take one for the team. Yeah, I just hope it's not too hot for her. And, and we have some uh, we have some pretty cool beers this round because uh -huh. some of them have some pretty heavy... Good backstories yeah, on, on, uh -huh. on a lot of them. Yeah. So we're going to pair this with Three Sons Brewing Fresh Start, which is a triple dry hopped double IPA. It's a mouthful. With cascades of juicy apricot, <laughs> luscious pear, bright pineapple, and succulent citrus coursing through every incredible light-bodied sip. And why don't you say the IPA <laughs> sounds so good, and then you take a sip and all the hair in the back of your head. But I'm, hey, it sounds really good. I can't wait to taste it. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. uh, Three Sons Brewing is coming to us from Denia Beach, Florida, mm -hmm. and the tap room opened in 2019 and is owned by Corey Ardenas, Ard 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 Artanis. Sorry if I butchered name. That was pretty good. Yeah, who is also the head brewer. The brewery also has a kitchen with a custom wood-fired burning pizza oven. Mm, Yum, our that's favorite. That's going to be one on our list then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two months before Three Sons opened its tap room to the public, the craft beer website ratebeer.com had, in fact, ranked the brewery number one in 2018. Pretty impressive. That's good. Mm -hmm. They specialize in sweet, mouth puckering dessert beers, mostly stouts, that have raised Ardenis's profile at beer festivals where he has won 18 gold medals for brewing wow. since he began entering contests in 2014. Wow, that's, uh, that's impressive. That's quite a bit, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, this beer is a collaboration with the One Life Project to raise awareness about human trafficking and a portion of the proceeds goes to supporting survivors. This IPA was crafted to pay homage to survivors of human trafficking in their fresh start to, to their lives, as well as the fresh ingredients used to brew the specialty beer. The proceeds from this event will be used to purchase critical items such as mattresses and baby items for the families served by Christie House. And the Christie House is a 5013C that is dedicated to eradicating child abuse and child sex trafficking, working nationally on solutions and locally to heal child victims. That's pretty amazing. Pretty good cause. Yeah, so it says on the back here and then it says fresh start. Pretty awesome. Yeah. I like good, that. It's a good cause. I like yeah. when they, you know, they take all their successes and what they did and mm -hmm. they put it towards something really good. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a great story. Yeah, and this can is just, the artwork that they did for this is pretty awesome. Yeah, I that. love it a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. just the colors they used and all of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where'd we get this one? Um, that would be a Tavor special. Good old Tavor. Yeah. I say that every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Head down to our yeah, link in the description, Tavor. yeah. You get ten dollars, I get ten dollars. Let's make this happen. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you hit the link down there. Uh, you'll get ten dollars off your first order. I'll get ten or ten dollars towards my next order, and, hey, and make a this win -win. a win-win. Yeah, because yeah, then you guys can try some of these amazing beers that we have found. It smells really IPA. -y. Yeah, that, that smells like your, your typical Woo. IPA, which is good, but it's pretty, pretty. Uh, you can definitely smell the lemon. Mimosa, it's mimosa looking. Mm. I don't know about that. Mm. Oh. oh, the dogs will get it. <laughs> mm. Did you smell in here? It smells like chips. Mm -hmm. Lime right off the bat. Oh, they're really um, thick. They're thick kettle, kettle cut. There comes the heat on the back end. Uh oh, why did it take such a big bite? Oh my god, that's a big it's Oh no. It's uh that's not coming on real strong. Mm -hmm. But you can definitely taste it in the back of your throat. Yeah, the lime. But it's very lime forward. Taste the lime. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 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 that's Woo. Hmm. Maybe the 
physical. Yeah, well. Hmm. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, usually the like I said before. It's pretty rare that I'm okay with an IPA. This one's pretty good. Wouldn't or maybe it's just the fact that my tongue's on fire. <laughs> double IPAs are usually a little less bitter. Oh. Why, when you say double IPA, I always think, oh my God, it's going to have the double mm. hoppy bitterness taste, but it's actually the opposite. Yeah, and I don't know. I tried to find out exactly what triple dry hopped was, and oh. I know it's something that they do triply in the fermentation process of mm. that. That was really good. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's um, mm -hmm. more uh, juicy. Yeah, it's definitely pineapple y. Mm -hmm. It says it, ha I don't know if I taste apricot, but it definitely tastes. Pineapple. Pineapple. It tastes like a... I thought it tasted lemon, but... It tasted like lemon and pineapple juice mixed mm -hmm. with maybe a splash of uh, something. Oh, maybe there's an apricot. Kind of a little bit on that back end. Because apricot's a little bit bitter, so... That's good. Yeah. It's, really good. it's yeah. a very fruity flavor. This does say boulder crunch, so it's a very crunchy. Boulder and crunchier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It it's is. Really it's crunchy. very thick. Very and because it's kettle or crinkle cut makes it even more crunchy well the habanero is definitely wiping out the lime boom yeah Woo. right in your face like it's i can feel it all back here mm. <laughs> but it's a good chip oh that's <clears throat> i think it's a really good chip it's kind of loud i can really hear you chewing <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> and it pairs very well with the beer too another yeah. don't another be in those on your zoom call because you'll be disturbing everybody mm -hmm. And on the back of the bag, I was noticing this earlier. There, I'll put a picture up there. Um, on all the bags, there's something just a little bit different about the um, kettle brand. Gluten free. Like this one. GMO. Says, like this one from the top says, with 600 solar panels on our roof, we generate 120,000 kilowatts, enough power to make 288,000 bags of chips oh. and reduce CO2 emissions by 85 tons annually. So are they saying that that's how they make them, that they have solar power? Mm -hmm. They have solar power oh, on wow. the top of their building. And uh, each one of the bags I'll read this week has uh, something different on the back. And it's kind of cool. Is that a new thing for this brand? Because we've had this brand before. I don't know if we've ever really looked at the back of the bag well, close enough. <laughs> shame on us. That's really cool. Our natural promise made with non-GMO ingredients, gluten-free, and at the, on the read, bottom. I read that already. Oh, meet your farmer, uh, tater, tater tracker. tracker. So, so I don't know, we're gonna, the tater oh, tracker. So we that. can log on and meet the farmer that um, gave us the made potatoes these chips, for the chips. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll do that for the, okay. uh, for the edit. Maybe hey, I'll see you know. what it says. <laughs> no, see if we made Farmer Bob. He uh -huh. supplied the potatoes for this particular egg. Uh -huh. How they know that, I don't know. But that's hmm. kind of funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. All in all, a pretty good chip. Pretty it, good beer. Yes. I like these kettle chips because I like uh -huh. that, how they're thick and crunchy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? All right. Good old series coming up. So uh -huh. um, we're back to that whole thing that I, where I say, right. like the video, because it helps us in the algorithm, they say. It helps YouTube know that we're here. Yeah. And we want YouTube to know we're here. Yeah. If you like and subscribe, they'll mm -hmm. know. Maybe we push us to the top of the video list instead of some. Well, of and you want to have the notification button on too because, mm -hmm. or the subscribe button, I guess. I keep saying notification, but I think there's like two different things. We got to do some research. Like on our that. video, hit the notification <laughs> bell, subscribe, subscribe <laughs> and then you won't miss anything. Because we got two more coming up in this series. Mm -hmm. And share. Oh, yeah, sure. Share with your friends. We're ready. We're ready to get out there. All right. So, until next time, no double dipping. From now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it.